Bonjour everybody, I am in Paris. Okay guys, I'm ready to go. This is my full outfit for today. Very casual, I love it. I just feel really comfortable in this kind of outfit. I decided to go with the white bag. I feel like it's a bit more interesting than the black. I'm gonna go to Café Marbillon, I think it is. It's not far, it's one of the ones that I saved and wanted to try out, so I'm gonna go there. Why is this not working? So I'm at the cafe that I wanted to go to, but they're not serving breakfast food anymore because I took so long to get ready that it's afternoon now. And so I ordered this truffle pasta and that's my breakfast, but I'm also having an orange juice. So yeah, it looks really good though. I am excited to dig in. And also I'm vlogging on my phone now because I couldn't fit my camera in my bag. I can fit nothing in this bag, not even my phone. It's kind of stupid. They also gave me so much bread. It's like half a baguette. using real truffle. This is insane. This might be really expensive. I don't think I looked at the price. Fuck. <laughs> we'll update you guys, but like this is amazing. Wow. The answer is yes. <laughs> I fucked up them. Oh well, treat yourself. shopping and I've got Fenty here I'm so excited time to just spend all my money let's go guys this is like a sushi train but it's a bag and shoe train I'm gonna I'm gonna move in here and just spend my life looking at all this stuff I cannot deal with the selection they have it's actually insane Hey guys, I'm back at the Airbnb now. It is, what's the time? It's after 7 p.m. now, just after seven. And I spent the whole day just walking around and having the best time ever. So obviously this morning I just like slept in, took forever to get ready, had pasta for breakfast by myself and just walked everywhere. And then I walked to Swarovski and we did a little street style shooting. It only took like 15 minutes. It was really fun, really good experience, and um, I'm really keen to work more with them, so that was great. And then Violet and I, we wanted to do a little bit of shopping, so we went to the Champs-Elysees, and there's a new Lerie Lafayette that's open there that I didn't even know about, and oh my god, guys, it was so amazing. Like, if you only have one day to go shopping in Paris, go there and just spend your whole time in the new Galerie Lafayette. They have the most amazing brands, like all these brands that I usually only see online and that everyone on Instagram wears. They have all of them, it's amazing. And they have the most amazing selection of bags, shoes, clothes, accessory, beauty. I found Gizu, which is really exciting because I've been wanting to try them for ages, but they never ship to Australia. And they do ship to Germany, I think. Um, and I was actually gonna um, order online, but then I found it in um, the new Galerie Lafayette. So I got the small, um, honey infused hair oil, which I'm excited to try That's kind of the only thing that I bought um, I was good. I really had to control myself. There was so much that I wanted to buy. It's Really incredible. Violet and I spend quite some time there 
And then we just like went to Starbucks because we needed a drink and that was easy to go to. And then she had to go back here to get ready for an event tonight. And then I actually went back to <laughs> the same place, back to the new Galerie Lafayette um, to browse more because I like I could spend like eight hours in there. It's actually amazing. Why am I holding this fry if I'm not gonna eat it? What did I do after that? I just like walked all the way back from the Champs-Elysees to Saint-Germain, which took me quite a while. And then I walked down to Le Bon Marché, which is another department store. Had a little look around, but again, didn't buy anything. I just felt like window shopping today, just looking at clothes and stuff makes me so happy. And then I got an Uber home from there, but I've walked like 14 kilometers today, which is awesome. And I'm having some dinner now. I got Uber Eats. I got this uh, vegetarian burger. This is with Beyond Meat, so I hope it tastes good. Uh, fries and I also got a coke zero which is kind of my guilty pleasure I love coke zero um, I try not to have it too much because I know it's really bad for you but it's so yummy Violet and Chris are at the Vanity Fair Ralph Lauren party right now and they're probably going to be done there in about two hours maybe three it kind of depends so I've got some time to myself to just watch the office and eat and get some editing done. I'm really happy that I can just chill for a bit and then I think afterwards we'll meet for drinks and maybe we'll go to this jazz bar that Violet really likes. So should be a fun night, it's a Saturday night. So I'm keen to just chill for a bit now and then go back out, which will be nice. Yeah. And then tomorrow we've got a, I think we only have one presentation, which is Nanushka, which I'm so excited about. I love their brand and I can't wait to go. And then we have the rest of the day just to shoot together and stuff, so that'll be really good. Hello everyone, it's Sunday and I never ended up going out last night. Um, I think I left you guys off when I was eating my Uber Eats. She left me. I left her. I crashed so hard. I started passing out at like eight while I was watching The Office and editing photos. And then I was like, there's no way I'm leaving this bed again. Um, but yeah, I had a pretty good long sleep and then we just got ready in the morning and now we're about to have breakfast. We found a little bit tall close to us. And then I think we're going back on the change and then we're going to the Nanushka showing presentation, which I'm really keen for because I really love them. And that should be really good. And then I have to edit a little bit later today and then we want to do a nice fancy dinner somewhere near the Eiffel Tower. So it should be a good day. I can't believe it's Sunday already. But at the same time, we still have today, Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday. I leave Wednesday afternoon, by the way. The train's at 4 p.m. Yeah, a bit earlier than I thought. We just ordered a continental breakfast, and we're both having the exact same thing. Hot chocolate, orange juice, and then croissants, and then also scrambled eggs. And I'm very excited. It's quite cute here as well. We just got some photos already down the street. the evening now and I've had a couple of hours at home just editing and stuff and today was really good we kind of slept in had a slow morning had really yummy late breakfast got some great content went home and changed went to the Nanushka showing which was amazing and they kind of had these rotating little uh, fashion shows which was really cool and I'm so glad that I was able to go love them and loved the collection and then afterwards we walked over to the Louvre and we took so many photos on the way got really good content again in the second outfit for today we had a quick coffee and I had a coke um, at the oh, what's that cafe called I'll put it on the screen but it's like right next to the Louvre and you can look over 
um, the Louvre and like everyone outside. It's really nice. It's very overpriced, but um, it's almost worth it, I would say, just for the location and just for the experience. So if you just have something like a coffee or whatever, it's overpriced, but I think it's worth it. And um, then we went and got a crepe au Nutella and made our way home and now i've had a couple hours to edit i was editing a video editing all my content from today um violet went to a louis vuitton party before and i'm just meeting her now for dinner which i'm really excited for and apparently where she is it's raining really badly it's not raining here right now which is good i think i'm gonna take the metro because the uber's so expensive but i'll show you guys what i'm wearing right now i'm wearing this all black look that I love. This is it. I'll show you guys in the mirror. This is what I'm wearing to dinner. I love wearing all black. It makes me feel so chic and just like invincible. Um, so this jacket is from Nasty Girl, which I am so obsessed with. And then I'm wearing this turtleneck from Nasty Girl as well. The pants are Zara. And then this little bag is from Givenchy. My iron's on the floor. Our place is a mess. It's been a little bit insane. There's just like clothes and bags and stuff everywhere. But um, it's actually been really cozy and nice. We were saying today how when we first got here, we weren't too happy with the place. I think we're both a little bit fussy, to be honest. Um, but it's fine and it's really cozy and the bed's comfortable. So I might leave you guys the link to the Airbnb down below. But to be honest, I wouldn't fully recommend this area or this place. It's kind of just, if you can't really find anything else and you don't want to spend too much, this will work. But it's not like the best thing that you can find in Paris. We just booked so late that there was basically nothing else. But I'll link it anyways for anyone who's interested. And um, yeah, let's go to dinner. We're going to this place, uh, this little brasserie called uh, Le Toile. 1903 i don't know how to say that in french um but should be good i'm keen to have like pasta or something and wine and i think violet was saying that one of her friends is djing at a club or something but i don't really feel like going out out to be honest i'd rather like go to a bar or something um and then just go home i really want to get some photos in the metro today because i think the metro actually looks so cool here so that's why i kind of redid my makeup a little bit I just put on a little bit more eye makeup and touched up my face. I'm going to pop something on my lips as well. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I should tie this together. Maybe it looks kind of random when it's open. I'm going to catch the metro and I'll see you guys when I'm at dinner. Ooh, yummy. We're at dinner. Got some pasta and a groni. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Found this cute place online. Hopefully it's good. I'll let you guys know. It looks good. So Having dessert now? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Perfect number, and it's that through. Hang on, I'm trying to find it. I'd be down. Going home.
don't lie. It's so cute. Good morning. Hello. Violet's looking amazing today. Loving the eyeshadow. Here I am. We're at breakfast now. Very late breakfast, but it's okay. We're gonna go to another showing. And then Violet has the Lacoste show on today, which is really exciting. I think I might finally go to a museum today because I really wanted to do one while I was here. And I think today might be my last chance to do that. So I might go to uh, Musée d'Orsay, check that out. And then tonight we want to go for a really nice dinner because it's her birthday tomorrow. I'm going to do something fun. And um, yeah, that's going to be it today. I got an orange juice and I've also ordered avocado on toast with eggs, which is going to be amazing. Haven't had avocado on toast in a little while, so that. How cute are these little silver trays? Love them. Um, this looks great. Got our breakfast. Un tartin avocat avec oeuf. Wow, she's so French. Yum, this is really good. We're just heading into the Shona Joy showing because we met her last night and she asked us to come. This is a really cool space. Very cool. That's really cool. Yeah. And also the skirt is loud. Yeah. I just spent like an hour and a half, I think, in the museum. I went to uh, Musée d'Orsay and I'd never been there. It was pretty good, but it was really busy, like so many people and really crowded. So that kind of always makes it less enjoyable to me. But then again, like what do you expect in Paris? It's always going to be that way. But um, did enjoy it, would recommend. They had some really good... Um, Vincent van Gogh pieces that I really liked and now I'm gonna go and sit in a brasserie have a little drink and something to eat because I'm quite hungry and then I'm meeting a Violet at the Arc de Triomphe and we're gonna shoot something there and then we want to go to a rooftop bar and then we're gonna figure out where we're gonna have dinner so yeah what's the time actually it's 4 30 p.m. But I'm really hungry right now and I know that I'm gonna get grumpy if I don't eat something now So I'm just gonna have something small. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I'm leaving tomorrow It's kind of crazy. I honestly can't wait to be back This time has been really different to the other times that I've been in Paris because I've had to work so much and there's been so many Appointments and stuff. So it's been a really different experience But I think it was good for me to experience that and it's been fun still. I just haven't had that much time to like do some shopping and go to museums like this is the only museum that I'll be able to do this time but anyways we're gonna find some food I think I'm gonna go to this brasserie on the corner that looks really nice La Frégate I'm near Saint-Germain which is a nice area and then I have to figure out how I'm gonna get to the Arc but it shouldn't be too far um, I've been finding the metro so easy I've probably said that like a million times I love the metro if you're in Paris don't waste your money on Ubers. I've only been Ubering late at night when I'm by myself because that's when I don't really feel comfortable taking the metro. But other than that, we've kind of been Ubering everywhere, uh, metroing everywhere. And it's so much better than Uber and you save so much money. And it's a lot faster as well because Paris traffic is uh, insane. So yeah, it's so pretty everywhere. I just love it. I feel so inspired here. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm gonna get drenched. I have to walk across the river and then through the Tuileries Gardens to the metro. And I really hope 
that it's not gonna start raining before I get there. Guys, I made it under covers, but I haven't made it to the metro. It's right there. It's so close, but it's so far in this rain. About to head out for dinner, and then we're going to an after party. Should be a lot of fun. We just had dinner now. I'm just having a small meal because I'm not that hungry. Violet on the other hand. Violet on the other hand. Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> We're just checking out of our place. We've just packed up our suitcases. We were gonna get up a bit earlier this morning and pack and then shoot and then check out or something like that. I can't even remember, but we were both so tired. So I'm happy that we just even managed to pack all our stuff before 11 a.m. And now we're checking out, but we can leave our bags here, which is great. And we're gonna get some breakfast, um, get some photos. And then I have to be back here at like 2.30, so come back here and then I'll Uber to the train station because I'm taking the train back, which I'm actually really excited for. It's three and a half, four hours, I think. And I can just do some emails, watch the office, eat some food. I'm very excited. Violet's flying back to Australia. Are you keen for your flight? No, I'm not. It's gonna be awful. <laughs> it's gonna be fucked. You can do it, you'll survive. And then a spa day in Sydney. Oh. We'll fix your ride up. <laughs> Last breakfast in Paris for a little while. See you soon. Au revoir, Paris. Violet is drenched. <laughs> we got so wet um, trying to take photos at the fountain. It's hilarious. Worth it though. Worth it. For the shot. Worth it. Where are we? Are we in the city of love? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 